here is the re review of Transformers Masterpiece 25th Anniversary Edition Optimus Prime. Or, or you can, like, simply call him MPO1. Because this was the very first masterpiece Transformer to ever come out in. And this was before MP10 and MP44. So, the, the truck mode here still looks great for its time. But compared to MP10 and MP44, this one's like no co comparison. Because the, those two look way better than this one. I'm not saying this one's terrible. It still does look amazing. But compared to MP10 and MP44, MP01 blows it out of... Well, MP10 and MP44 blows MP01 here out of the water. But it still does look cool for its time. And to get in a closer look here. You can see he's of course the red and blue truck like he's always been. And he does have like a lot of weight on him because he does have some d die cast metal on him and that is on the cab section here which is these two red things where the windows are and also the entire blue part here on the back is all die cast metal. So he does have some weight on him, which is great. And he does have the Autobot symbol on, yes, only on one side, only. And he does have some like b battle damage black spots here. And he does have another one here on this side. And he also does have some rubber tires on him, which I'm seeing if, if they're not cracked over time, and I don't think they are. So they still look great intact for all these years. And he does roll really smoothly. And also, on the back of the tires, these do have some... some... Su suspensions on them.
and on the top here he does have some silver paint on these things on the back with some silver lining and also some silver on the insides here. And the front here does have some nice chrome grill and a chrome bumper here with some silver on the sides here. And on the top, it does have some like metallic gray on these things here. And the top lights here do have some orange and some gunmetal gray. And oh, oh, I, I forgot to show y'all this. On the tires, they do say, um, I'm going to try and show it to y'all. There it is. They say... Yeah, they, they say... D d desert. Yeah. Right there. And I think that says... Dog, yes. So it says Desert Dog on... Oh. Well, here it says... For... Formula. Formula. So it says Desert Dog Formula on both of the tires, I think. Yes. <laughs> and before we get into the transformation, a feature that this has is you can open up the, the cab windows here and inside here it has a little seat here so you can like sit sit in like any minifigure you have. Oh and I, I almost forgot to show y'all the back here does have this little port here, so you can attach the tr trailer for this guy or MP01. But you will have to buy that, I think, separately. I, I, I think you have to buy that separately. I'm trying to remember because it's been so long ago. But I think you do have to buy it separately. the truck mode. It, it still looks great for its time. But, but compared to MP10 and 
MP44. This one's no comparison. But, but to transform him, first I gotta adjust the camera here. But to transform him, you're going to take the sides here and bring them out. And then you're going to Go ahead and do the back here first. So, so for the back, you want to you, you want to take the, these two little containers here. Press them down and hold them down so that way you can extend his legs out. And then you just want to rotate his waist around. And for the legs, you're going to separate them and take this trailer hitch and flip it up. And for the feet, you're going to take these things here, bring them up, and you do want to spin them around. And underneath here, you're going to, whoops, you're going to flip down these blue things so you can take these things here and flip them down. And then you do the same on the other side here. Rotate. Flip down and flip down this piece. Now you're going to open up the cab windows again because you need to reach inside here and flip down the seat, then you're going to take the bumper and the grill and untap it and bring it up. And on the back, if it hasn't done so already, you want to untap this back piece, flip it down so you can Untab this piece to flip around his head, which I accidentally popped it off. But it just pops right back on. And tap it in. And you also want to take these antennas and flip them up. They do move together, which means if you move one of them, the other one will move by itself. Then you close up the back piece here. Then you want to take this grill and the bumper here and bring it up. But before you bring it all the way up, you do want to take this matrix here and and you do want to spin it around. Well, you do want to take these things here and flip them down.
so that it's centered like this and that way you can push it all the way in If I can, there we go. So you want it pushed in so it looks like this. And for this bumper piece, you can flip it down so it looks like this. But if you want to, you can take this bumper piece and rotate it around so it looks like that if you want to. But you do want to flip it down like that. Now, for the bottom here, you're going to Take this grill piece and flip it all the way down so that way you can take these front tires here and you do want to take these things and flip them in. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all, he does also have some silver paint on the insides here. And you do want to take these front wheel sections and rotate them around. And, and for this fake grill piece here, you do want to bring it up on this hinge joint right here. And you do want to br bring these back out so that way you can take these and bring these all the way up and they will click into place just like that. And then you just want to bring up his waist here. And we're almost done here. You just want to close back up his chest here and to, to slide out his hands you do want to take the these panels here you do want to take these panels here and flip them down but I don't have like any f fingernails to help me flip these down. So I will have to use like a tool somewhere. And I think I found one here. But what you want to do is you want to flip down these things so you can slide out his hands and then bring these back in and close them up so they look like this. And 
And there you have... Oh, oh, well, one last thing you gotta do. Take these, bring these in, and these will lock together. And I think we are all done. So there you have MP01 or the 20th, 5th Anniversary Edition Masterpiece Optimus Prime in robot mode. I'm going to see if I can try and get this all in frame here. As I can. Well, I got to move this out of the way first. I think that's all in frame, right there. But there we have Optimus in robot mode. And it, it looks great, and it still does for, for its time. And I'm trying to get this camera. I, I'm going to straighten up this camera for, for a little bit. I'll, I'll be right. All right, I got my camera finally all situated. So here we have Optimus in robot mode. And like I said, he does look really great for its time. And, and he still does. But again, compared to MP10 and MP44, this one's like no, no comparison. But getting closer look at him. You can see that he, he does have some yeah, he does have some metallic blue on his eyes here. Which you can see right there. And he does have the silver he 
head crest here. And, and he does have some yellow paint on his arms here. And also he does have a, a little bit more battle damage here on his elbows here and some yellow here and everything else oh he does have some gray here and on the back it does have some painted in details here And he does have some pistons here, which are fu functional. And he does have some gray and silver paint on the back here. And some more pistons, which are, again, working pistons. And, and here's the back of his head here. And all around, he, he looks great. And for articulation, head is on a ball joint. And his arms can rotate all the way around. And they do move in and out, but you will have to extend his, his arms out to make his arms move out. Oh, and the, these smokestacks here are spring-loaded. And he does have a bicep swivel, elbow joint, and as you bend his elbows, some pistons on the back of his elbows move. And for his hands here, For his hands here, they do have a ball joint at the wrist itself, and the thumb is on a ball joint, and for the fingers, as you can see here, they move independently. You can see right there. He does have a waist swivel, which is on a ratchet. And these front skirts, side skirts, and back skirts can move out of the way to make his legs move forward and back on a ratchet, move in and out on a ratchet, thigh swivel on a ratchet, A double jointed knee on a ratchet and the feet are on 
ball joints. And that's it. And he, he does come with a, a, a gun that, that you can fit in his hands, but I don't have it. And he also does come with his Energon Axe that you do attach to his forearms here when you slide up his hands. And again, I don't have that. And I forgot to mention, mine is incomplete. Which I forgot to, to say that. And I think he does come with a, a little Megatron gun. That you can also fit in his hands, but I don't have it. But what I do have is, is some fe features that he can do. Because yes, he does have some features. And that is... We'll first start off with his arms here. So for his arms here, you can open up these panels here. And again, I will have to use a tool to help me out. You can flip them up and you can see here on the screen, you can see there's a picture of Starscream right there and with the painted in keypads here. And this side does open up to well well the other side does open up and on the screen it has a picture of Bumblebee on the other side as well. And another feature that it has is on the back of his head This little square thing here is a button, and when you push it, oh, it's on the top here. When you push it, his mouth plate moves like he's talking. And like you saw inside of his chest, you can open up these things and flip up this thing. And inside is the matrix of leadership here that you can remove it out of him. And, 
And this matrix of leadership does open and close. But, well, I'll see if I can try and, and remove it out. Well, n no. I, I think the easier way to remove it is you have to undo everything on the chest itself. But uh, I'm not going to like waste too much time on, on that. But you can remove the matrix of leadership and the matrix does open and close. And also, and this does take some batteries in this thing, but the batteries on mine don't work anymore. But what you would do is you would push on this blue button here, and that would light up the matrix here. But the batteries are are not working anymore. So now let me Let me get him all in frame. So that that's about all of the of the features that it has because I don't have any accessories for this guy which are the what weapons so final thoughts that this figure like I said looks great for its time and it still does. But compared to MP10 and MP44, this one's no, no comparison. But I do like all of the, the features that it has for its time. Like the working pistons on his elbows and his knees here. And Oh, he, he also has some working pistons here on his feet when you move his feet up and down. For, forgot to mention all that. But still looks fairly cool. So I think that's about it. So there you have it. Transformers Masterpiece 25th Anniversary Optimus Prime or MP01. And if you like this video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you want to check out some other videos you may have missed, there's a playlist set up on my YouTube channel. So I think that's about it. So thanks for watching.